We are running away, running for our lives. Running in the wasteland at midnight. And we got a bunch of monsters chasing our ass. If I don't get away, my ass is gonna be grass. Do de do 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 Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, sell. Uh, we're going to make some sales and start building up our money because I do want to buy the chopper, and I don't believe that's something you can make. You have to purchase it um, unless that's changed. Uh, so, yeah, let's get going on that. Actually, no, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to harvest some uh, harvest our crops. So let's get that out of the way first. Okay, let's see what we can make for food. So I'm gonna grab uh, half of those and harvest this water. Okay. Let's grab the fresh water for food though. And uh, go into here. We have... Yeah, that's broadcasting. Okay. All right. So we can make... Uh, let's start with spaghetti. We'll make four of those. We'll make two shepherd's pies. And it doesn't look... Uh, yeah, we'll make sham chowder next. That's kind of the order of food priority from what's good... Uh, to make so probably meat stew would be the next best thing do i have pumpkin cheesecake i think i do it i think i put it in the selling chest let's take a look pumpkin cheesecake yeah we have four pumpkin cheesecakes um why don't we make how many of those can we make oh shoot 20 we don't i don't think we need to make 20. We have four. Let's make another four of those. And then I think... You know what I think I'm going to do is make a bunch of bacon and eggs just to free up some space in here. Well, actually, I don't know. Meat stew. Yeah, we've got so much meat. Bacon and eggs... Oh, bacon and eggs does not require fat. Okay, I'm thinking of probably Icarus or some, or maybe another mod. Maybe maybe Ravenhurst did that. I don't remember. Um, so let's make meat stews, and then we're gonna also make a whole bunch. Well, I don't want to use up all of my eggs, though we do have chickens upstairs. Let's make say 28 of these, just to kind of free up some space. Um, and I even have kind of some overflow stuff in here so we'll put that stuff in there okay good so that gets us going on food stuff i am going to need uh definitely some more burn time in here let's see we're gonna need about two minutes there about 18 about 28 29 ish we'll do 32 Okay, so that gives us eight spaghettis, two shepherd's pies, two gumbo stews. And uh, we're doing good, great on food. We just need to make sure we bring more food with us when we go out uh, to do some more random looting later on. I think I'm just going to put this in here for now, since we have quite a bit of water still that's cooked up. Oh, I guess I keep... I guess I can keep in those in there. Very good. Okay, so, you know, the other thing I need to do is I need to get some more titanium, too. Um, and I've just mostly just been getting that from the surface, driving around in the wasteland. Because I am completely out of titanium. I think I have a little bit over at the, uh, the, the Horde base. 
Uh, speaking of which, next Horde Night is on day 161, if my math is correct. And that's a big if, <laughs> but I think that's what it is. So we got a couple more days, but we might not. I don't know if we'll have enough time to go out and do random looting again before the Horde Night, unless I decide to take the Horde Night off and just purchase up on a big building and let it go by. I do, I do that on occasion, um, especially later in the game, because, you know, the Hordes really aren't getting any worse. We've done them so many times now that I just, you know, it's not that big a deal if we skip one here and there. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see. If I do decide to do it, I, I definitely have quite a bit more repair work that needs to happen too. So I got to factor that in to the equation here. Uh, why don't we grab, uh, why don't we grab some Molotovs and take those with us too when we go out and about next. All right. I've repaired all of my weapons and I think my armor, my armor is in reasonably good shape. I can't repair my titanium pickaxe because I don't have any titanium at the moment. Uh, let me look at that again, actually. Yeah, we have one thing of ore. I, I don't, I want to save the scrap because we need the scrap um, as a scrap for various things. So I don't really want to melt that down. Suppose we could melt half of it down. Um, or can we? I think we can. I don't usually do that. Yeah, we can. Okay, so we could make a total of 20... Uh, nah, I don't think I want to do it. I think I want to just go out and get titanium ore and this smelt it directly. Okay, now let's take a look. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've moved everything over into the vendor box that I want to sell. What time of day is it? Okay, we, we don't have a ton of time, uh, so we got to keep that in mind. Let's grab about a... A few, some of these. We don't need that many lights, and these actually sell for a decent amount of change. There's almost 4,000 coin right there. Um, I'm not so sure I want to sell the batteries. Can I? Are these sellable? Oh, they are. I don't, we don't need 51 of those. I know we need these to make something. Uh, they're an actual recipe. A vehicle supercharger. It only requires one. Can we make that? What, are, what did I do with the mechanics table? I think it's over here. Supercharger. Yeah, I think we can. Um, I don't know if I have that installed, though, in any of my vehicles. Whoops. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Damn it, Jim. There's no mods at all in the Dune Runner. I did the, I keep doing the same damn thing. Okay. I don't know. Can we put the supercharger in here? Don't repair it in any vehicle or is it only specific to some? I don't know. Well, we could, let's actually maybe make one of those and see. So, yeah, let's go back to here. Recipes. Let's pin this. And, yeah, I mean, that's... we. If that's the only thing we need a brass radiator for, we don't need all of these. And I know I could turn these into brass, but we're doing fine on brass. Uh, so I, th I think I'd rather sell them for the coin. Okay, so let's put all of these in here, except for we do need one to make the supercharger. And I saved a couple more, too. Okay, so we want 20 steel. You know what? On second thought, well... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We need 20 bolts, which will be over here. just that we're going to need some uh, a fair amount of that steel to repair some of our higher end stuff but it would be nice to be able to go a little faster we need 10 pipes five mechanicals i'm also very low on plastic too so when we're out and about we need to actually make 
a bit of an effort to get some plastic. Let's make the supercharger, and I think I'll put it in the motorcycle. All right, that's going to take a minute. So while that's going on, uh, let's take a look in um, Well, hold on. Yeah, I was looking to see if there's anything else I wanted to sell in, in the way of our resources. If we just have, like, a crap ton extra. Eh... We could sell probably half that leather. That is a lot of leather. We could probably sell half these electrical parts. We don't have a ton of mechanical parts, so I think we'll stick with what we have there. And I th think the rest of this stuff we'll, we'll keep. All right, so we looked in there. What's in here? Yeah, that's just all the miscellaneous stuff. Not really anything in there that I want to sell. Can you sell coal? No, you can't. Usually these raw resources, you can sell resin, but that's just not enough money to, to worry about. That's also not worth selling. Probably isn't anything in here I would want to sell. Well, we could sell a thousand lead ingots for 5,000 coin. Lead is very easy to come by. That just made us, like, mega heavy. And we already have quite a bit of buckshot and bullet tips already made up. Rocket fuse. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll have to... to preload the lead, though. Um, all right, so let's see. We looked at all of those stone items. I don't think there's anything there I would want to sell. We don't need two chainsaws. So we could fix that up and probably make a decent amount of money on it. I'm keeping two hammers just because they are used for crafting things. I don't think we need two icebreaker picks. So we'll grab that to sell. Um, yeah, okay. We don't need two iron fire axes. Can you sell paintbrushes? You can. All right, let's sell a couple paintbrushes too. We don't need two jackhammers. And this one's a little bit better. Uh, are ratchets used as a recipe? Because if they're not... They are. Yeah. Oh, event. okay, yeah. We definitely want to keep those. Wait a minute. What was that? What did that say? Was that a station? Uh, recipe. Advanced repair kit. Okay. Yeah, so we, we don't want to sell any of that stuff. Uh, we don't need two steel pickaxes. Um, I think I'll hang on to the two wiring tools because sometimes I take one with me over to the board base and then leave it there. And I believe the wrenches are needed for stuff, too. So let's just double check that none of these have recipes. I wouldn't think that they would, but... Ooh. Uh, but... That's for crafting the Valkyrie drill. We already have a Valkyrie drill. What do we need? I wonder if we would need that, though, to upgrade. You know, as we get to the higher levels. It's a possibility, so I don't think I'm going to uh, sell that. Even though, yeah, I don't think I'm going to sell that. This doesn't have any kind of a recipe associated with it. So I think we'll be okay selling. Well, you know what, though? I don't think I will after all, just because these are super rare. I very rarely do I ever come across a chainsaw. So let's just keep that back up just in case we might need it. Okay, so that gives us a few more sellable items. Um, so let's put all this stuff in here. I'm going to put uh, these guys back in here for now because they're making me pretty darn heavy. 
Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything in here I really want to sell. Can we sell stacks of meat? Yeah, but not for very much money. That you can't sell at all. You can sell the food. So we just have those two sham chowders. Uh, let's go look over here. Not really anything in here I want to sell. I might grab these two treasure maps and maybe we'll do them. Uh, if we have time. We have so much ammunition. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it might not be a bad idea to sell a few stacks of this ammo. Forty-four, fifty caliber, ten mil. So let's sell, say, three stacks of the ten mil. Maybe four stacks of the five, five, six. Maybe three stacks of the sniper. About half of the nine mils. Uh, sell so all of the stone arrows. I think I'll probably want to keep the iron arrows as a backup. That still leaves us a lot of ammo. Can we sell feathers? Yeah, let's sell some feathers. I'm not going to be able to move now, though. But as you can see, I've got plenty of bullets. I've got a decent amount of buckshot. And I think, didn't I make some more shotgun shells, too? I must have. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. We can't move. Roberta, come here. She's in quiet mode. Um. Oh, you know what? We, we actually need to take that up on the roof. It's enough for me to be able to move, right? Yeah. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably pop a steroid. And you know what, too? I think we'll... Maybe we'll take the gyrocopter. Just as well to get get around to the other traders more quickly. Alright, so let's put all this stuff in here for now. Yeah, we'll make uh we'll make ourselves some money. Oh show sure, doing this. I should also Let's put these away for now, because those are also pretty damn heavy, too. All right, I think that's it for... Well, actually, hold on. I think you guys told me in the comments that the hazmat gear is actually useless in Undead Legacy. But if that's the case, I, I would actually melt it down for the military fiber before I would sell it. And then, so we have a backup set of steel armor in here. We've got a almost a full set of light military armor. So there's not really anything there I would want to sell. Tough guys, shades. Yeah, I, I have like one of each of those. So I don't think I want to sell any of that. Oh, we could sell some of this stuff. Um... What is this used for? Recipes. It's used for making all of the military stuff. How much is a stack of 50? Why don't we... Uh, why don't we keep 50 of these and we'll sell 93? I mean, I come across that stuff all the time. That's why I have so much of it. I think I've already gone through my guns and melee weapons and just ha have kept like one of each type. Yeah. All right, so we're good to go. Um, all right. The problem though, of course, is it's getting late. So what I'm probably going to do 
know what we could do. Why don't we go do those two treasure maps? Because I don't care if it turns dark while we're doing those. And then we'll come back uh, when it gets daytime. I will get... Or I'll come back after we do the treasure maps. I'll get the stuff in here repaired that I need to repair. And then we'll go to the trader in manana. Okay, so let's go ahead and do these now. And if I... Uh, I want to do these in the wasteland, so that way if we come across some um, titanium, we can get it. Ooh, oh, did I leave? Where is my Valkyrie drill? Uh, Houston? Did I put it in here? I did. Okay. It's trying to creep me out there. Um, oh, you have something in your inventory, too. You got the gyrocopter, which we actually want. So, yeah, let's take all of this. We'll put the extra ammo in here for selling. And we want to take this with us. I don't think we can repair this in here because, once again... Uh, no, not upgrade. Repair. I would need four titanium plates. To make a titanium plate... I need two ingots. How many ingots do we need to repair you? Four. So I would need to make 16 ingots out of these, which uses almost all of them up. Uh, I don't think I want to do that because we have we have enough pick and Valkyrie drill to bring back some titanium. And I really just kind of want to hang on to that scrap. Well, you know what? Let's look at the scrap again for a second. What exactly is this used for? Yeah, see, we want it for superior repair kits. Uh, but it take and it takes ten per. All right, so what I'll do then is let's use approximately half of this. Wait a minute. There. Okay. And, you know, we can always make more of this once we get some more ore. It's just that we got to get the ore. Okay, can I put the turbo thingy on the chopper? Or on the gyro? I don't know. Let's go up to the roof, set it down, and see what happens. Ooh, I can. This isn't modded at all. Why the heck did I not mod this? I'm in particular interested in fuel saving mods, but I think what I would like to do for the moment is just take them from here. And uh, no, I don't think we need a cargo extension. I mean, it would be somewhat useful. Fuel reserve tank. Okay, I'll just have to either make new of these or try and remember to put those back next time we use the motorcycle. The other thing I want to do is we're going to need actually bring some gasoline with us too. Um, let's bring like say three full tanks.
food. We made all that food and I never grabbed it. Okay, I think we'll just carry the meat stew around with us as our basic food. And we'll just give ourselves a topper of blueberry pie because who doesn't like blueberry pie? We'll also top off our hydration with a red tea and a yucca juice. I won't bring copious quantities of food with me until we go out on our next long random loot run. Good. So that'll give us more fuel economy. Help us go a little faster by 5%. Me likey. Okay, so let's go do the treasures and look for some titanium. So there's one off this way. We'll go do that one first. Landing in the wasteland, well, not so much landing, but taking off from the wasteland is going to be fun. But we should be able to do it. We might have to clear a little bit of a path. There's a drop down there. It's going to have the same old same old in it, though. I've mentioned this before, but... I don't remember if anybody's ever responded to it. I don't know if the random loot drops being the same shit 99% of the time is an undead legacy issue or a seven days to die issue. Because I don't remember that happening in vanilla. And I'm not saying it didn't happen in vanilla. I just don't remember it. But it definitely happens in undead legacy. Okay, before we start digging, let's just make sure we have a nice clear path to get out of here when the time comes. So we should be able to just go right through here to take off. We don't need a real long runway, but enough of one to get off the ground. Point it in this direction. I want it to be ready to go just in case we need to make a quick exit, like if a big running horde comes along or something. Okay. There's an Edgar over there. about the scorpion more than anybody else. Yeah, fight the zombos, scorpion. Whoa. Yeah, let the scorpion fight them.
Oh, screamer. Okay. We can't handle a screamer. That is not gonna work. Um, get on, please. On the on the chopper. Get on the chopper. Thank you. Um, why am I going that way? We. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, okay. This is not good. All right. Never mind. Run. Fuck the chopper. Chopper sucks. It's not gonna help us. We gotta run. We are running away, running for our lives. Running in the wasteland at midnight. And we got a bunch of monsters chasing our ass. If I don't get away, my ass is gonna be grass. Do de do 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 Maybe we should take one of these while we're running. We just gotta get away from the screamers. Running in the wasteland at midnight, it's my favorite thing to do. And if you buy that, I got some oceanfront property to sell to you in Colorado. This is just the best time ever, and I'm about ready to run out of stamina. Oh shit. Running in the wasteland. Da 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 da. Okay. Uh, wait, where am I going? Go this way. Why am I going this way? Because there's a red flag over there? Okay, so jump up here for one second. Take one of these. And take one of these. And then run like hell. We probably could have handled that if the Screamy hadn't come along, but, you know, the Screamy came along, so all bets are off. So we are out of immediate danger. We're just in semi-immediate danger. Let's take another one of these to get our health all the way back. And I guess we work our way slowly back to where we were. And see if we can... You know, some of them will have cleared out. It's Again, it's the screamers. It's always the screamers, right? They are the biggest threat. But nothing new there. So the name of the game here is to try and pick them off one by one. Or, you know, one or two by two. Three by three probably works. Anything more than that, it gets a little sketchy. Because remember, these are high-end wasteland zombadoodles. They're pretty much almost guaranteed to be feral, if not irradiated. Okay, that's a scream. E, er, scream here. We can get her out still, we can pop her head off. She did. Okay, let's keep moving this way.
Shotgun skill has improved to 73. Hallelujah. Down with you. Okay, let's go. Screamer coming. Not not the Arlene that way. I don't know. These guys are not wanting me to get close to my uh, my treasure. Oh, we got an owie. Come on, lag. Let's take one of these. And we'll take one of these. Give me my arrow back. Oh, did we take your leg off? Sucks to be you. All right. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry with it. Oh, about him. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that right now. I just want to get back to my treasure. And I don't think I'll use the Valkyrie drill at night. It's just too damn dangerous. Here's a duffel bag. Mmm, take that. Okay, so let's pick you up again. And I want to set you down. Right there. And then we basically go towards the, uh, well, maybe a little bit to the left of the red marker. It's just that when I got on it last time, the zombies were throwing, throwing me off course, and so I couldn't go the direction I needed to. Okay, back to this. Um, it looks like the circle is kind of closed in this way. But, like I said, we're going to go quiet mode for the rest of this. There it is. Okay, let's see what we get. Eliana's locket. That gives us a fortitude. Uh, plus one fortitude and 4.9 loot bonus. Do, don't we already have this, though? Of course, this one might be a better quality. And there's 8,000 coins, so that doesn't suck. Uh, I think that's a chest piece. Yeah. Uh, so if we go modify, this gives us 8.1 loot bonus. Because, yeah, it's a higher quality. It's an A level. So is this worth anything? Yeah, it's worth like 2,500 coin. All right, we'll just sell it. Because the one we have is already better. Are we good? I think so. Let's take one of these. Okay, we'll take that stuff. Uh, where's our gyro? Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? <laughs> okay, our next treasure is... We should have two treasure maps. Where's the other one? Did I not pop two? Oh, pay attention, OG! I'm busy looking at the sky and not flying. Let's get up in the sky. Old guy in the sky with diamonds. That's OSD, by the way, not LSD, because that's Lucy in the sky with diamonds. This is OSD. Um, except for my diamonds are back in my base. 
Okay, let's level out here a little bit. Now, while we fly, I'm looking at my compass to see where the hell that other treasure map is. Uh, I'm not seeing it. All right, let's land on this road so we can very easily take off again. And then might as well get that drop too. And then uh, I maybe I just have to activate it. That's probably why it's not showing up. Because we did read two treasure maps, right? Could have sworn we did. Okay. Let's go to here. Jennifer's. Oh, we did. Okay, so we still have two more to do. We just did Eliana's, right? Because we got the locket. Okay. Uh, Active. Show on map. That's going to be way back over there. Oh, you know what, though? We have a street here, so that'll be good for the for the chopper doodle. Uh, so make, yeah, toggle that as the active quest. Oh, crap. We're, like, way massively out of time. All right, well, what we're going to do then, guys, is um, we'll, we'll just continue this in the next episode. Um, what I'm going to do is get over there, land, and then I'll, I'll start the very next episode and we'll just pick up right where we left off. I didn't realize we were so long already in this episode. It seems like we just started it, but I guess I did do a bunch of stuff around the base. Uh, so yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.